One of the most rewarding things that I experience is when I'm out at dealer events where we're auditioning the Ref 160 Monos and it has this immediate wow effect with the customers. And so many times these are customers that have owned Audi Research products for years and have gone through an upgrade path over the time. And then they come to me and they say, this is the best sounding amp I've ever heard from Audio Research. Audio Research introduced the Ref 160 Mono to fill a need from an aesthetic point of view as well as a performance aspect. Going into mono versions gives us more real estate on the circuit board for improved audio circuitry and improved capacitance for the power supply. With the 160M project, our technical goal was to come up with a class AB push-pull amplifier that had auto bias and switchable ultra-linear triode mode operation. And those things were new to ARC. Ultra-linear mode is basically a pentoed mode of operation. It has twice the output power of the triode mode, so you can drive less efficient speakers. Some people prefer the triode mode, which sounds a little smoother than pentoed mode or ultra-linear mode. It's just personal preference of the listener. The power output of the Ref 160M is roughly 140 watts RMS in ultra linear mode and roughly 70 watts RMS in triode mode. The output tubes are KT150s. Right now in the audio industry, virtually everyone prefers the KT150 and we've optimized the sound around that tube. We wanted to show as much as we can the technology behind the product, so the tubes. We had this idea to put some uh, meter on the front of the Audio Research 160M, but we wanted the tube exposed and we want to have this transparent panel. And uh, the idea was very, very easy. We used some, um, some inspiration I had in a restaurant seeing a sign of a bathroom uh, that was made of plexiglass. So when you put some light on the side of the plexiglass, every sign on the plexiglass will shine. So we decided to incorporate a little funny story in the design of the product. If you look inside, you'll see that we've kept a lot of the traditional assembly methods with point-to-point -point wiring in the audio path, but we've eliminated some of the point-to-point -point wiring that we didn't feel added sonic value to the product. We find that some of the benefits of eliminating the point-to-point -point wiring are we can improve quality of the product by eliminating a number of solder joints that you know, can be a reliability issue over time. Also, by eliminating loops of wire, we've greatly reduced noise pickup in the circuit, so we have one of the quietest amplifiers we've ever built. We've kept the point-to-point -point wiring in the audio path where it's critical simply because you cannot match the performance of well-designed cabling, litz wire, oxygen-free copper in a circuit board trace. We've redesigned the transformer so that it runs cooler and also there's plenty of design overhead so that in certain situations you, you won't run into buzzing of the transformer due to power line conditions. Another element that composes the architecture of the power amplifier is the transformer. There are a lot of ways you can hide the transformer but in this case, since the transformers are really important for the final result and for the sound of the unit, I really wanted to show the transformers on the top of the unit. We take great care with part selection here at Audio Research. We addition every component that goes in the audio path, whether it's a resistor, a relay, a capacitor. If you look inside the Ref 160M amplifier, you'll note that we have some large proprietary coupling capacitors that we worked extensively with a supplier to design specifically for this amplifier. There's customers that have been with our brand that have stayed with our brand for 20, 30, 40 years. And the customers are now coming back to us and saying, listen, you know, I've, I've valued the brand. I've owned Audio Research for such a long time. What you guys are doing right now is revolutionary. The Ref 160M project initially began in late 2016. We built prototypes in early 2017, and unfortunately, the designer of the Ref 160M, Ward Feeberger, passed away in March of 2017. He was a big mentor for me and was an honor for me to work with him. He really represents the history of the brand. And so the 160 in this way really represents the perfect bridge between the history of the brand and the future of the audio research.